Hey guys, what's up? Lane Cooper here. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, this is getting kind of spooky, you guys, and I think it's coming to a point where I'm probably going to pull my kids out of school. Uh, New York Appeals Court. The federal government can vaccinate your children without your consent. Trump state laws. Now, isn't that interesting? The courthouse news service is reporting about a case where a public health nurse, um, without the parents' consent uh, and uh, against her mother's wish, the vaccination is um, the H1N flu virus. Uh, the mother, Jennifer Parker, sued both the school district and the health department in St. Louis County a Supreme Court in New York. Uh, the state Supreme Court ruled against the health department, stating that the Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act that's a, a presidential order or executive order that uh, President Obama signed in, by the way, you guys, did not extend to a situation in which a governmental entity administered a drug without consent. The health department appealed the decision and the appeal division concluded on November 21st that pre exempt state laws claims and overturned the decision. According to uh, courthouse news, the decision stated that during a declared public health emergency, we concluded that Congress intended to preempt all state law tort claims arising from the administration of covered countermeasures by a qualified person pursuant to a declaration by the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Wow. So this court is basing at least some of its judgment on what they view as what Congress intended. I don't know if this decision will be appealed or not, but as it stands, this decision states that the federal government can trump any state law during what it considers a public health emergency and then inculate or give pharmaceuticals to children as young as kindergarten age with no consent from parents, all in the name of public health and safety. What is not even apparent addressed in this case are the following points besides the obvious. Was the H1N flu virus any more dangerous than previous season flu strains? Um, pretty interesting stuff to go through there, you guys. I'm going to put a link to this one in the description. If you guys Google this, it'll pop up with a bunch of reports on it. And um, not good, you guys. Share this information with everybody. People need to know. Have a good day.